like a Hellcat. How's it going, everybody? It's not so anonymous, and today I am back playing some more Fortune Motorsport 6. Now, if you didn't already know, a new car pack had just came out for Fortune Motorsport 6, and it is the Hot Wheels car pack. Now, this car pack, in my opinion, is honestly probably one of the best car packs we've had in a long time in Forza, besides the Top Gear car pack, which just came out about a month ago. But it's absolutely ridiculous, guys, and I can't wait to drive this car for you guys. And as you can see by pretty much the lettering on the side of the car, it is the McLaren P1 GTR, or the 2015 McLaren P1 GTR. This car, I'm just loving it a lot, just because of the, like, the aero and appearance of this car. It just, like, the the gigantic wing on the back of it looks absolutely insane, guys. And I just can't wait to drive it for you guys and give you guys some gameplay. But I'll be back to you guys when we're on Circuit of the Americas right about now. Alright, guys, so we're on the track, and this car looks absolutely ridiculous with this just big wing inside of it. It looks super awesome, guys. But now we're just going to test out the sound, of course, as I like to do before I do the lap time. It does really sound really aggressive with this V8 inside of this car, and it does have lots of crackles on it. So I'm, I approve this sound of this car, and now let's go and see what this car can do on this lap time. Now this car takes off, as you can see, on the acceleration on the bottom right. And I'm just going to brake over here. Now this track is the, the track is Circuit of the Americas, and I picked this track just because I've actually seen videos of this car on this track, so it goes together pretty well since this car, or this game is simulating real life and this car has been in real life so I paid that just because of that reason but I really like this car right now and I'm trying to get used to the gears and stuff and it's um, handling and stuff kind of like that but just so you guys know this car makes 986 horsepower with this V8 twin turbo and electric motor inside of this car that's pretty cool guys oh we just hit that bump right there but I'm liking this car a lot guys and it does make I think 755 um, pound feet of torque which is I a lot more than SSXK, so it might win in the drag race or something kind of like that. I don't really know, but this car is just, I just like it a lot. I mean, there's not really much to say. It's just like so cool, and I, I'm happy this car is in the game just so we can compare the lap times between the FXXK and this car. I mean, it is really cool, and there's like, let's go into interior mode right now, guys. Oh, we can just see the acceleration of the kilometers per hour going up. That's absolutely ridiculous, guys, but oh, we are on the track over there. I'm sorry about that. But this just car in general is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm super happy this car is in the game. Now, I do this think this car will be used a lot, just because we can compare the lap times between, again, the, the Ferrari and the McLaren. But since this car is a little bit low on the, as you could say, on low on the P scale of um, X-Class or anything like that, or the highest scale of Forza, it's not really going to be used a lot just because you can't compete with like the 787B and stuff kind of like that. But we did get a 1 minute and 43.134 seconds, guys. And that was pretty cool. But this was the end of my video. Just a little quick review of this car. And I have to say, this car is absolutely ridiculous. And the hype is real about this car, in my opinion. So, hopefully, guys, you did enjoy this video. If you did, a like and subscribe. You much appreciate it for the channel. It really does help out the channel. And we are on, actually, the road to 30 subscribers by the end of May. So, if we could hit that, that'd be absolutely amazing and mean the world to me. But anyways, guys, that was the end of the video. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.